Hi there, this is Lori from Stitching It Right. Today's episode is about embroidery floss. I went ahead and got a piece out so I can show you. Embroidery floss normally comes, if I can get a little closer to the camera, it's got, it's one big strand, but it's made up of six strands. And each of those strands is woven from two strands of fiber into a smaller thread. And how I was taught to do it was um, to split the six strands into three. You can't just yank it, you have to kind of gently work it apart. And then when you sew, each piece gives you a its own fiber. Now this, if you don't split it, you can you can leave it in whole for a different effect. You can see the bottom thread is a little bit um, thicker. I stitched that with all six. The top thread lets you see what it looks like if you just stitch it with two. It's a finer stitch. Uh, the advantage of splitting it is it it doubles the amount of thread you get for the same price, the floss that you get for the same price, and it still gives a really nice effect. And for some of the finer handiwork, because with a lot of embroidery you'll be doing them smaller stitches, crosses and stuff, cross stitches. Um, and it, um, when you thread it into the needle, you just kind of pinch it so it's flat to go through the hole of the needle, the eye of the needle. And that's all I have for today. Thank you for watching and happy sewing.